In this video, I'll be showing you the new Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 collection of lipsticks. I have been so excited for this. Out of the five lipsticks, I have 10. And to me, these are the five most wearable for us more mature women, shall we say. I ordered them from Sephora and I will have to say, please don't go to the Sephora website, go right to the Charlotte Tilbury website because had I done that in the first place, I think I wouldn't have made a mistake on one of the colors. One of the colors turned out to be really, really dark, and you'll see that later on as I go through these lipsticks for you. And here is a look at one of the pages of the Charlotte Tilbury website, and as you can see, everything is very beautifully laid out. There are a lot of different color swatches there, models wearing the shades. That's the place to go to really determine your shades. And I'll start out by saying that I have my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipstick on, at least so far. I hope maybe one of these five will become a favorite. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and I have it on my lips right now, along with the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. Love that too. And on my cheeks, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Cheek Blush in Love Glow, I think it's called. Yes, Love Glow. And I love it because it's super natural, and I'm finding that I can't really get that overdone look with it. And I've used Charlotte's Airbrush Press Powder. And to give me that Film Star Bronze and Glow, I have used her product of the same name. Absolutely beautiful and very natural, and I'll link them below. Now in just a few minutes, I'm going to come closer to show you all of these lipsticks. But first, let me give you a little overview of this Hot Lips 2 collection, which is just wonderful. Here is one of them, and this is the JK Magic Lipstick. And here it is. And as you can see, the packaging is absolutely lovely. Here's a look at that lipstick, and I'll get to the swatching and showing you what it looks like in just a few moments. But I did want to tell you that there are, I think, three different lovely external cases, and there are either three or four designs of the cases. And I will say, when you first order a lipstick, each color has its certain designer case, and you can't choose on the first color. But when you order refills, you can. And this is $37, and I have to say, this is very, very high-end looking, and you would be very proud to pull this out of your purse. And the neat thing is, is that the refills are only $25, which is a bargain on these wonderful formula, very creamy lipsticks. And look how easily this just pulls out. That's how easy it is to switch out those lipsticks. Okay, I've brought you in very close so you can see me apply this lipstick. And I will say I am doing this in my kitchen because I wanted you to see these lipsticks in absolutely natural light. I have my kitchen window there and an overhead light, no diva ring or anything like that. This is the JK Magic. Charlotte calls this a soft, flattering, pink kissed with nude lipstick in homage to JK Rowling. And there's a picture of JK there. There it is. Whoa, I absolutely love this one. It's very, very similar to my Pillow Talk, maybe a little bit lighter. And here is the second one. This is In Love with Olivia, and it's for Olivia Palermo, who is a model and entrepreneur. Look at that beautiful case, absolutely lovely. Has Charlotte's logo and beautiful striping. Here is that color. Here we go. You know, I really do like this one too. It surprises me because this has more of an orange tone to it and I normally don't like orange tones, but what a beautiful, beautiful color. And here are the swatches so far. This is JK Magic and this is In Love with Olivia. Now here's the third one and it's called Karina Star and it's for Karina Lau, who is a Hong Kong actress and singer. And here is that beautiful packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Wow, what a nice color. Here we go. Very bright. Wow, that is a really bright color, but I do like it. And here it is swatched with the other two. This is the Karina Star, and as you can see, it's more orange than any of the other two. These actually have a little bit more of a rose tone to them than the Karina Star. 
Now, I'm super excited for the next one. This is Glowing Jen, and it's in honor of Jennifer Aniston. And in my house, my husband absolutely adores Jennifer Aniston, and so we go see all of her movies. But this is her lipstick. Here it is. I love this. It's a little leopard print. Absolutely glamorous. And here is Glowing Jen. They say it's a beachy rose lipstick in honor of Jennifer Aniston. Here we go. I'll try this on. And I love roses. Wow, very pretty. Wow, I really do like that one. Oh my, I had thought there would be a few of these that I didn't like, but so far I pretty much like them all. That is an absolutely beautiful glowing rose color. I can see why they called it Glowing Gin. And I realized I forgot to swatch the glowing gin, so here goes. And I'll put it next to the other three. That is the strongest color of all, and it is a true rose, absolutely beautiful. Now this next one is called Amazing Amal, and this is the one that I believe that I would have chosen something different if I had gone to Charlotte Tilbury's website, as I should have. I'll show you that color. It is an absolutely gorgeous red color. But anymore, I don't tend to wear reds. I wore them in my 20s and 30s all the time, but it's not something that I can really pull off anymore. Wow, that is a red. They said it was a berry pink lipstick, but I definitely think it's darker than that. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Well, I would say that it is a berry red color, and it's definitely the darkest of all of them, and it's definitely the most dramatic. Well, thank you for going through the Hot Lips 2 collection with me. And if you're not a subscriber and you're 40 plus, 50 plus, somewhere in there, I hope you'll consider clicking that little bell and subscribing. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. I went ahead and put on the Glowing Gin, which is, I think, one of my favorites. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, even when I'm in my kitchen. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Here we go. Let's choose one. It is a Saturday morning here and my kids are coming. I'm so excited. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Stillness is the key to success. Stillness is the key to success. Wow, I absolutely love this card and I think of two things. The first is that sometimes I talk too much and I need to shut up and be still. And I'm really going to try that when I'm going through the weekend with my family is really to let other people get in and talk and just to listen because you can learn a lot when you listen and to be still. And the second thing that strikes me about this is that stillness is great and that in those times when I'm praying and meditating and taking the time to be still, my life just goes much more smoothly. And so just for today, as we go through the noise of the day, let's remember that there is beauty in silence, there is beauty in stillness, and let's take those few moments to be still. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.